branch out. This is an RK R35 BR Recording King banjo. And uh, what a banjo. This is a true professional banjo at a very affordable price. It's so affordable that even if you were a beginner, advanced beginner, and thought you were going to move forward, you could use this banjo. You could play in a band. Um, and I'll tell you the features of this banjo. Uh, now, we've been showing you the, the base of all these banjos, which look pretty similar. Uh, has the one-piece armrest, the original type Presto tailpiece. Uh, this also has a what's called a one-piece flange. And uh, it might be a little hard to show you exactly what this is, but it's this piece right here that uh, is decorative, but it excuse me, also functions to uh, hold the lugs. The lugs pull on the tension hoop, okay? So not only uh, will we show you the banjo, but maybe we'll educate you a little bit. Okay, so as you go up the neck, basically you'll see some really nice inlays. And these are reminiscent of some of the old Gibson inlays in uh, something called a TB or an RB1. And we go up the to the headstock, attractive overlay, and we're dealing with planet pegs. Once again, if you're playing the banjo, you want to be playing the banjo, not tuning the banjo. So you want a tuner that's going to hold tune and be accurate and be smooth. Okay, now we come down and we see there's a geared fifth peg. Let me turn this banjo around and you'll see the pe peg again from the front. And um, we have a maple neck. You'll see the finish on the neck and you'll also see the finish on the resonator. It's a flat finish. It looks good no matter what you do to it, pretty much. Um, the real power and value of this banjo is something you really just have to know about. You, you can't necessarily see it because it's kind of hidden. The, the first part is what we call a three-ply hard rock maple rim. Now, if you can imagine a rim that's five-eighths inch thick and it's made of three pieces of maple, imagine how difficult that is to turn that maple. That's like a rock into a circle, okay? Now, if you take three of those pieces and you glue them and you, you get them together in a round circle, what happens, you have something that's really solid and it reflects sound. And this is what the old pre-war banjos did. Um, then if you put a tone ring on top of it, which is a two to three pound piece of metal, preferably made out of brass and preferably made with the secret formula that uh, would be like an Earl Scruggs banjo. And Recording King has come about as close to the secret formula as you can imagine, if not actually hitting the secret formula. So you get a banjo that's not real expensive that sounds incredible and uh, th that's basically it now not only do you get the banjo but if you get one from us all of a sudden voila you get a case a hard shell case with a real nice lining to it now if you're interested in this Believe it or not, I've been doing this for about 50 years. I've sold thousands of banjos. I really would like to place a banjo with you that you like. And if you continue and have success, which if you have a good banjo, you're more likely to, and hope to develop a relationship with you so when you buy your next banjo, you'll call me. Uh, so you can go to ATL Music and Education. That's atlmusicandeducation.com, all right? If you didn't get that, just rewind everything. And uh, you can either email us or you can even call us. And you'll be talking to myself or Andy. We run the site. Andy's been playing the banjo for a long time and knows a lot about banjos as well. So we will answer all your questions, uh, recommend what we think is the best banjo. In some cases, we'll recommend you spend less money than you were going to spend. In some cases, we might recommend just to spend a little more. If you happen to get this RK uh, 
35 banjo, which is the, uh, the R35BR specifically, um, this banjo could last you as a professional. You would never need to buy another banjo again. Of course, you might want to, because once you get the banjo fever, you of course want to have five or 10 different banjos. All right, well, thanks a lot, and we'll see you later.